Did Kawhi Leonard make a mistake by leaving the Toronto Raptors? After getting traded to the Toronto Raptors, Kawhi ended up winning a championship that season. But after only one season with Toronto, he decided to move on to the Los Angeles Clippers and ended up teaming up with Paul George. And although at the time there was a ton of hype and excitement around the Clippers and around those two main guys specifically, over the past few years, the Clippers were never able to do anything meaningful and they were never even close to winning an NBA championship. And it seems like at this point, the Clippers are in an even worse position now than they ever were in the past. And at this point, some are bringing up the question on whether or not it was the right decision for Kawhi to move on from the Toronto Raptors. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that the link will be in the description but anyways let's get into it the story of Kawhi Leonard was a very interesting one he was a guy who definitely had talent coming out of college and he did go in the first round, but with that being said, he was seen as a specialist. Coming into the NBA, Kawhi Leonard was seen as a defensive specialist, and the reason why he did go in the first round was due to the fact that teams thought he could eventually turn into an elite defender. And that alone, an elite defender without much offensive ability, is still very important to a team because you can put that guy on the opposing team's best player and they could do a really good job at containing the opposing team's best player as much as they could. So even with the lack of a scoring ability, Kawhi Leonard was still seen as very valuable coming into the league. But ever since he made it to the league, he was doing things that people didn't expect. It seemed like each and every season, Kawhi was working on one specific aspect of his offensive game, and eventually he turned into the player that we know and love today. Like for example, one season he would focus on his three-point jump shot, perfect that. The next year he would work on his mid-range jump shot, perfect that. The season after that, he would work on his driving and finishing ability, perfect that that, then his passing and playmaking ability, and so on and so on. And in my opinion, that's the exact right way to go about things. Because when you make it to the NBA level, it's hard enough just to compete with these guys. The players that you're playing in the NBA are obviously much better than any talent these young guys have ever played in the past, whether you're talking about college or high school, or of course even before that. So when the competition increases so significantly, and you're trying to work on a bunch of different aspects of your game at once, let's say you're a three-point jump shot and you're driving and finishing ability and your mid-range jump shot and also passing and playmaking ability all these different things at the same time it becomes very difficult to perfect these things and a lot of times what we see when players are trying to do too many things at one time is they start to struggle a little bit and then they can lose their confidence and i mentioned this in a lot of my videos but confidence especially for younger players is so important because if you lose your confidence as a younger guy you could think you may not belong in the nba because you don't have that experience and you don't have that proof that you are able to hang in the league. And that's a huge reason for why a lot of players who are drafted highly or a lot of players that have a ton of hype and potential coming into the league lose their confidence early and they're never able to recover from that and they end up becoming draft busts. But for Kawhi Leonard, the fact that he was focusing on one specific aspect each year really was a great way to go about things and that's a huge reason for why, at least in my opinion, he was able to turn into the great player that he is today. But after Kawhi really established himself as being one of the better players in the NBA, he definitely had some nice years with the San Antonio Spurs, or really some great years, but then he eventually moved on to the Toronto Raptors via trade, and at the time, there was some hype and excitement about it, and it was seen as a risky move for Toronto. And the Raptors did give up a decent amount for Kawhi, and if the Raptors weren't able to win a championship in that one season they had him for, then the whole trade would be a waste, and it would push the Raptors organization back a couple years. But, as we all know, in that first initial season, the Raptors and Kawhi Leonard meshed very well together, Together, and they ended up winning an NBA championship that season. And obviously all the risk that the Raptors took in trading for Kawhi Leonard paid off as they won the championship. But somewhat surprisingly, even though the Raptors won the championship that year, Kawhi still decided to leave and decided to go to the Los Angeles Clippers to team up with Paul George. And although at the time the Clippers became instant championship favorites as they had two guys that were extremely talented, but also when you looked at the Clippers roster, they had a really talented young roster and a lot of guys that can 
didn't really help these main two guys, so it seemed like the Clippers had all the ingredients to become very successful. And even though basically each and every year that these guys have been together and have been healthy, the Clippers have been playing pretty well during the regular season. But it just seemed like in each and every playoffs, the Clippers just came up short. And at this point, after these two and Paul George and Kawhi Leonard have been together for some time, in my opinion, I feel like it's somewhat clear that this isn't really working out between these guys and the Clippers need to make significant changes to truly win an NBA championship. So the fact that we even got to this point brings up the question on whether or not Kawhi should have stayed with the Toronto Raptors. Well, I actually think this is a pretty interesting question. I think if Kawhi ended up staying with the Raptors, he would certainly have a much better coaching staff with him, but at the same time, he probably would have less talent on his roster, but it overall would be probably a better situation for him. As I do think if Kawhi stayed, the Raptors would be consistently competing for an NBA championship every single season, and I wouldn't be surprised if they were able to win another championship. And obviously, if the Raptors were able to win another championship in this time frame that he's been with the Clippers, obviously it was a mistake leaving. Them. But obviously this is all hypothetical and we don't necessarily know what would have ended up happening if he stayed with the Raptors. Maybe it would be a similar situation where he's still dealing with injuries and at the end of the day due to that or maybe due to some other factors, maybe due to a lack of talent or some other factor, the Raptors weren't able to really compete all that much for a championship or even if they were competing, they weren't able to actually win one. And I guess at that point, it would be the same situation as Kawhi's in currently with the Clippers. But if I had to guess at this point, I probably would say Kawhi would have been at a better point, at least right now, if he stayed with the Raptors as opposed to going with the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, originally when he went to the Clippers, I thought it would be a better situation for him because he did have that firepower in that second star in Paul George, but he also had a ton of talent around him. But at the end of the day, as we all know at this point, due to injuries, maybe lack of good coaching, maybe lack of chemistry, whatever it ended up being, the Clippers hadn't had all that much success over the last few years. So at this point, I feel like it probably wasn't the best situation for Kawhi Leonard. And I think if he stayed with the Raptors, he would probably be in a better spot at this point. But I guess at this point, all this is really irrelevant as of course he didn't stay with the Raptors and going forward for Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers, the main focus for them has to be to win an NBA championship because Kawhi didn't come to the Los Angeles Clippers just to be somewhat competitive in the playoffs. He came here to win a championship. So the Clippers really need to do a better job at maybe adding some more talent to this roster, but most importantly, need to do a better job at figuring out the coaching aspect while also making sure everybody stays healthy out there, especially Kawhi Leonard, because of course he's their best player and he's the real key for them to win an NBA championship or not. As this previous playoffs, they actually played relatively well, but at the end of the day, they ended up losing due to the fact that Kawhi once again got hurt in the playoffs. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening for the Clippers and Kawhi Leonard. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Kawhi Leonard should have stayed with the Toronto Raptors or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out guys.